Hello, esteemed viewers. Welcome to the Rem Diamond TV show once again. And I'm your host, Joshua. And on today's episode, we'll be talking about a very controversial matter. Bordering around marriage again. And that is, should a lady marry for love or should she marry for money? <laughs> well, to discuss this matter expressly, we'll be having with us on the show today a young promising lady, a business guru who's doing very much well for herself. No other person but Miss Grace in Zeabuike. Welcome to the Rev Diamond TV show, Miss Grace. Thank you, sir. It's good to have you on set. Oh, it's my pleasure. Yes, yes, yes. So how's business? How's life with you? Thank God, everything is moving. Grace is massively active. Mm, like yeah. your name, Grace. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I posted your flyer telling people that we're going to have you in the studio. And then someone asked, I said, ah, this lady that wants to talk about this very interesting topic. Is she married or is she single? Oh. Looks like you're having toasters already. No, seriously, I am single. I'm very much single. Yeah. <laughs> you mean... You mean you know the single in this dispensation can be different. Are you saying there's nobody? <laughs> nobody. Or is it because you are not married? Nobody, I'm single. So she's single, okay? <laughs> so if you need to get her contact Seriously. You need to Two billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's good to have your set. Thank you, sir. So the present topic is should a lady marry for love or should she marry for money? That is she has two suitors. One loves her. She loves him too, but he doesn't have money. Mm -hmm. hmm? He's broke. Now, the second person, she doesn't love him. The, the guy is willing to marry her, but he has phones. You know some of these guys with phones, they don't, they don't, they don't send love. Yeah, they yeah, just marry, just be the wife, be the wife. Yeah. Be the mm -hmm. <laughs> so, she had those two options at the beginning. Now, what do you advise the entire world? Should they go for who they love or who has money to take care of them? Because in this 21st century, Sapa is everywhere. <laughs> yes. The economy to take care of yourself, self, get a CV. Exactly. <laughs> everywhere. Not to talk of trying to raise kids and all of those things. So we see that their mind is becoming a shambo. People are taking wrong decisions and all of that, all of that. So we want to know is that the new order? <laughs> marry for money or marry for love? So let's hear you. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's a very, uh, how do I put it? It's not a new question. Okay. So okay. People have been asking this kind of questions. So the thing, is, on my own take, yes. I think a lady should marry for love. <laughs> yes. Because marriage is too deep. Honestly speaking, marriage is too deep for you to just marry for money. Mm. There is nothing mm. bad in marrying a rich man. But I think the driving force should be that you love this person and this person loves you in return mm. so because there are so many problems how do i put it okay there are so many challenges in marriage that uh, of course of course there are ones that money can solve but there are still ones money can't solve talking about the you know the emotional aspects your mental health you know, loneliness is real. <laughs> Depression is real. Yeah. You know, it's it's very easy saying it when you are single. Ah, oh, why everything. One thing with money is that you can earn money along the way. It's mm. not something you can like you be broke forever. Okay, you end up marrying this guy because he's rich. What's the possibility that he will remain rich? Mm. Mm. Or the money will just grow wings and fly out the window someday, you know? Okay, so you said something. What's the possibility that he would remain rich and yes. of that? Yes. The same thing applies. What if I marry for love and this man is broke? What if he does not make it? <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a very important question. Yes, what if yes. he gives me potential, the future is bright. I mean, what if the future is not bright? <laughs> the thing is, that is where the discerning, I don't know, to yes. be anything, the dishonest spirit comes in. Yeah, it's, yeah, it is very important before you take vital decision, especially in this marriage aspect. It's not something you just decide on. Like, number one, you must make sure that this man you want to spend the rest of your life with is very clear, like he knows where he's going. Yeah. 
so that he loves you shouldn't be enough mm. you should make sure that this man is not a lazy man somebody can be broke and still be lazy mm, that's a bad combination yes <laughs> so and you see ladies they end up marrying this man working hard doing everything at the end of the day be like everything i did for you mm. and a lazy man can leave you for a lady that is richer more wealthy that's when you now see ladies i will never love again mm. i can never try it yes that love is a scam these are men cannot be trusted it's not true it's because you you fail to recognize the kind of person he is mm. do you understand so you must make sure that this man like he's somebody that has a vision and he's ready you will see him walking towards fulfilling what he's doing now like to fulfill what he wants to become in life where he's going the direction he's going towards like i don't know if you get what i'm saying yeah, I understand. so you, should, you shouldn't just settle for he already said he loves you don't love blindly have a reason why you want to marry this person it's only your family member that you can say you love them you you they you, you know when you grew up you found out that you grew up uh, with these people your mom your dad your sibling but as long as you want to marry somebody there has to be uh, how do i put it there has to be a reason is either this person is wise or this guy knows where he's going and all together like i keep emphasizing on that because this is where ladies miss it mm. do you get knowing where he's going yes and he's ready to fulfill that vision well you want to say something okay no, no. miss grace i understand you very well but you see uh, i'm trying to say what is prevailing in our society at this point in time mm -hmm. we've seen people who he has a breath he has a bright future today they have three children the future never breaks <laughs> 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 you know I some some you can see the examples in our family. Yeah. Some of our parents. Ah, I was with your father when they had nothing. Now, to her, what my father has now is something for her. Mm -hmm. But me as a child, I'm looking at my father and say, okay, so now you miss my father get money like this. Mm. Yeah, I never feel go man dies. <laughs> I never feel go Zanzibar. Yes, yeah, it's true. Eh? And I'm probably 30 years old. And my first first First, uh, the, my elder person is 35. So, are you saying for 35 years you cannot afford to take your family outside the country? Mm. For 35 years, my father has not, I'm not saying my father, <laughs> but I'm just giving examples. <laughs> my father, before my father has seen me on this thing online, and I say, So, <laughs> Jerusalem that I went to is not outside the country. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I like. But you get my point. Yes. I you see our parents, they stood for love. They have probably enjoyed the marriage. They are, both of them love each other. They've been through all those. They are enjoying life. Actually, life is not about money. Mm. But money is necessary. Very and then necessary. their dispensation and this dispensation is different. Yes. It is hardly possible for you to survive without money. Without money. Especially when you are going to create another child. I'm not saying that money is not important. Yes. Yeah, so that means. As money is important, we should go for who has the money. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Money is very important. It's very, very essential. But like I said, it shouldn't be the driving force. So you're saying you end up it is a man. risk. Yes. And, it's, and it's a good it, risk. Yes. Some people will say, ah, I had married him, he has money, I don't even love him. But now I'm beginning to love my husband. Okay. It's 50-50. <laughs> Tomorrow he might turn out to not love you. Yes, you will get the things you need. You get all the buy all the luxury everything but will he be able to make that sacrifice mm. we what if maybe a situation comes you know we are saying it is very easy mm. but you she see maybe it. yes they are depressed do you get i can remember a, a woman told me one of her neighbors then she was like please she's telling she's begging me don't ever agree don't ever like your husband to leave you and say he's working somewhere else mm. he provides everything for her wow everything she began to narrate to me her audio when she was pregnant the husband was not even there you know her giving uh, uh, the neighbor she had to call from the next compound she came to her rescue in the night she almost died nobody she was alone mm. you understand so all these things they are saying it is very she was begging me like 
But all these things, your husband makes sure you are okay. okay. Everything takes care of your little baby. She now began to narrate everything from mm. beginning of uh, uh, their marriage till that point. From the beginning. Yes. Wow. So on that aspect of the future is not bright. That is why I said, you know, the yes. And another, the man that has that unders you know, this money they say money is like money is a spirit. You have to learn about it. You understand? So he might be working hard and still end up, you know, frustrated. Mm. So you should and you should be marry a man that is teachable. Mm. Marry a man that is teachable. Because some men, pride and ego has blinded their eyes. They don't listen to anybody. They will tell you, is that what I want to do? Do you understand? That's why I said, don't love blindly. Yeah. Do you get? So marry somebody that listens to people. It will enable him, maybe tomorrow in your journey, both, you both, he might come across people that might help you, be able to help him. He will not push them aside. Do you get? He will not push them aside and say, I know it. These are might be people that will bring out his potential, you know, teach him about money, how to make profit and all that. So marrying because of money is something that you can still get in the future, mm. you know? So marrying, yeah, I get that. So marrying for money is like a waste of marital life because you can still get money. Yes, except you are intending. The truth is if you are marrying for money. Mm. Except maybe you are intending to stay for a while. Forever is not your goal. In okay, to chop money and, yes. and stay back up. Yes. Okay. And know very well that you might say it's not possible. I'll gather all the money. Money will develop for <laughs> The more you have, the more you want to have. At a point, you even make you keep jumping from one person to another. Mm. Because you are looking for who is more richer and all that. Okay. So, we'll come back to this, this, this very particular one. But... Let's go on the commercial break. We'll be back very soon. Just yesterday, a third person said, Me, you can buy land for Crystal Villa or Guash for 350,000 Naira. You know what he tell me? He tell me, say, Whether me, I know how many millions he don't lose until say he won't buy land. So, whether me, I know how many thousand they don't scam him until say, he won't buy land, he won't become a landowner, even for that of wash. Now look out for face. Now tell us, oh god, Jenny Land Day. Now you no buy from Rem Diamond Homes. Jenny Land Day. Now you no buy from Rem Diamond Homes. <laughs> you tell me how I know. Rem Diamond Homes, where we say evil government, not if you follow them, drag land. Not to talk of say they won't collect their land. That is how genuine we are. Just the play. Just the play. The play. The play. The play. The play. I don't like when person they tell one the truth. Keep playing. Until they scam you your entire fortune. I go clear. <laughs> All right, welcome back from that commercial break. Now back to our topic. Yeah, I used to hear people say it's better for me to cry inside logs. Yeah. It's better for me to cry and be depressed and have food to eat. <laughs> You have to be depressed and be sitting guy. <laughs> so, what do you have to say about that? First is that it's a matter of choice. Mm. It's your choice. You choose that part. But when the, the pain or the depression or whatever negative effects you begin to get, you keep you don't come running to people to, to help you. Yeah, because it happens. Mm. Forget. People will come to social media and tell you it's a lie. I'm not complaining to you. Is they lie? They are going through hell. They are going through hell. Yeah. You know, some of them, their husbands beat them. Though, you can still see broke men that <laughs> hit me. You know that. Yeah. So some of them pass. They, they pass through a lot. Some of them, their husbands wouldn't give them the uh, platform to bring out their own potential. Yeah. They only spend my money. Yeah. You have everything. Why now? Why do you want to work? Why do you want to do this? Why do you want to do that? I'll give you anything you need, but you can't go beyond this. You should be his money. Mm. So if you can, you know, face all these things, yes, no problem. Yeah. Raise the children alone, maybe when he's not home to help. Okay, you know? so uh, I, I saw something online, and then I saw, just was it yesterday, I saw something online. The woman, a woman left her marriage for the sole reason that her husband could no longer pay the bills. 
Now this man had money, she my had money and then mainly after a while, after two kids, something happened, he lost his job. Mm -hmm. Now this man could no longer pay bills. Now this woman was paying the bills for six months. After six months, she got fed up. <laughs> this man has been paying the bills for almost four or five years. Now, just for six months, the woman could not she left the marriage. And she's saying that the six months bills that she covered, the man is going to pay her back. <laughs> yes. Now it's obvious that I'm married for money. Yeah? It's very obvious. Yes. It's very obvious. And that is what has placed fear in some uh, the wealthy men too. So even some of these uh what how do I put it? Some of these broke girls, yes, that say I cannot marry for love. Do you understand? Some of these uh, wealthy men too are even afraid to get married to them. Mm. Because they are watching that fear that oh what if she leaves me? What if something happens and she leaves me? Mm. So it's very obvious that that woman married because of money. So marrying for money, no problem. Nobody is holding you. Is not totally bad, but do marry for love. It takes love for you to stay married. But do you think it's very okay for a man to be in, unable to get out of his family for six months? Of course. Some people think it's probably a lazy man for six months. No, not... you can't just call the man a lazy man. Mm. It depends. This is somebody that has been providing for you since he knows he has it at the back of his mind that you, the children, or whatever are his responsibility, just as he's in his difficult times. Time. So that is why you are here. You are called the helper. You are there to help him in times like this. So you see, it happens. Every everybody has their own difficult times. Every mm. relationship. So that it is love that the love you have for that person will now make you to stay. That is the 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 the, the prompting fact the, the prompting factor, right? That will make you to remain in that marriage. Mm. Now, um, now, now, now. That takes me to this point about stingy men. Now, does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? How do you know? How do you know a man who is stingy from the beginning? Now you say we should not marry for love. You say we should not marry for love. We should, we should open our eyes and marry. Mm, sorry, so we should not marry for money. Yeah. We should marry for love. Now, but I you, rather say don't marry just for money. You know, don't marry for just money. Love should be. Love should want. be. Yeah. Yeah, but if the man doesn't have money, if <laughs> you should marry for love. That's what I say. <laughs> yeah. When you are left with you with those two options, you should marry for. Love. So love. Yeah. Now I'm saying. Now we've seen people who have, have, have given love a try. They've given their money. They've done all of those things in the relationship, and then the thing didn't work out. So now they are scared of going back to try love, and then you shouldn't say, "Love is calm. Love is calm. Love is calm." Now, how do you know a stingy man and a broke man? Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh -huh. He's broke. We know he doesn't have money. Now, don't you think it's difficult to know whether he's stingy? Mm. The thing is, it's not really difficult to me. Okay. And before I say this, in all your dreams, don't marry a stingy man. Don't say he will change. Never. A stingy man is always a stingy man. But he doesn't have money. How would you know he's stingy? Now, from the little he has, mm. how does he give? I've heard, I've seen ladies, I've read online questions. Who is, you see somebody asking a question uh, that uh, my, my, my fiancé wants to get married, but he doesn't, he's too rich. He doesn't have the money. He wants us, he wants to, go, I'm thinking of giving him money to pay for my bride price. Mm, what kind of stupidity is that? It's true love, now. Nah. That one is not true love. Ah, forget it. You as a man, you don't have any business talking marriage if you don't have anything to do with But the woman is a help me. Yes, you're a help me, but not pay your own diary. You want to marry yourself. No, that's not marry yourself. You are giving no. me. No. My father told me a story of this, something like this. A woman who was richer than the man, but she just loved the man. The man was advanced. I think she was older than the man. Though. She gave him a briefcase of a briefcase full with money. <laughs> she gave him. It is from that money he paid her by price. Paid for the wedding, paid for gown. So it's not like you are paying your black price. <laughs> you only boosted the financial capacity. Which is boosted? <laughs> to me, to me, I'm seeing it that you can't come and say take for the bright price. No, no. Nah. That one give. Uh, uh, okay, it's no, somehow. No, no, yeah, actually, yeah, it's actually. somehow. I'm talking about the stingy man. Mm. From the little he has, there are men you'll be moving with, even to buy you water. Water. 
pure water. Mm. It's very hard for them. It happens. I've seen these things. Mm. You as a lady will be like, eh, I, I want to drink water. I want to drink water. He will act as if he didn't hear. <laughs> he not get man. You have you understand? Yeah. I know you don't have, but not from the uh, my grandmother, my mom from my maternal side when mm. she was alive, even from that little year, she had you seen her sharing mm. to people. Do you understand? This man is true, he might not have at all, but you will see him make, I don't know if you are following what I'm saying. You will see the effort he's making. You will see the effort he's trying, he's making to see that he puts a smile on your face. Even if it's gala that he bought for you. But that gala, you know that he really, he, he thought the, the action, the, mm. the thought he had it before is. he, yes, before he got it oh, for I, you. Are there really this, 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 who will do these things you are saying? That's the problem. The fact that many people are not now married for money, they say marry for money, you I know can't out mm. doesn't mean you should use it as a yardstick, that is how it should be. It's an error. Mm. So marriage from the onstart is meant for you two to love each other, be with each other, be together, support each other. Not because of what he has. Because that thing he has can disappear tomorrow. Mm. Then what happens to the marriage? Two of you will split. What happens to the children? You know? Those things, these are the things you don't consider. And when you are married, you know, children learn faster by observation. That's when you, we are, you are with your dad because of the money, they know. And for mm. them, no, you, they observe. They, mm. they observe. You don't need to tell them, especially when they are growing. That's true. You don't need to tell them. And when you are get that thing is, you know, they are assimilating that behavior. They are thinking it's the right thing to do. Mm, really or really, they yes. don't have to be that kind of, kind of person. Yeah, that's true. So marriage is not just for yourself, but for your children. Yes, for, yeah, your, children. for your children. Yes. Okay, finally my producers are already warning me before we leave the show. Now, I would like to ask, what advice would you give the people who have given their all into true love? Exactly. I'm sure, have they broken your heart before? No, <laughs> my heart. Honestly. You are the one breaking the heart. <laughs> Just say, say yes. I know you want to say yes. Oh God, no. <laughs> you are the one breaking the heart. Kind of. <laughs> hey! I'm not really calling it heart. Are you sure we don't have a heart breaker or set? <laughs> <laughs> okay, they are not meeting up to the standards. Things yeah. are not okay. Yeah. Shit happens. Shit happens. Yeah. Okay, so people who have given true love, they have given their all in love. Now, what advice would you give to them? Because you won't blame them totally, it's not their fault. Mm, yes. Yes. Some of them hurt the hurt has probably they are speaking from a place from a place of yeah, yes, yes, of what I experience. So what advice will you give to them? Should they marry for love? Because I know somebody's at that decision right now. The truth is the fact the tr truth is truth anywhere, anything mm. it doesn't expire. Truth is truth. The fact that is what is trending, we can't use because of the what the way it happened to you and say, okay, don't do it this way. So my advice is, don't stop loving, but don't love blindly. I keep telling people, don't love blindly. You can't just meet a man because because some ladies, even when they met somebody, you are in that relationship, two years, three years, you are the one providing, doing everything. You will cook for him, you will buy him this, you will buy him that, you will do this, do that. But for one day, he has not gotten you pain. Mm. In the name of he doesn't have what he's doing. Mm. What people are doing for one works. Mm. Yes. People are doing for one works. Replayers. Replayers. Exactly. Yes. So, he should be able don't... to go extra match the kid's family. Yes. yes. So, say yeah. that watch his kind of mentality too. Because there are these men that has this kind of mentality that uh, the, my wife is not totally my responsibility. She has to be doing her own. I'll be doing my own thing. You might be dealing with such person without even knowing. But because he doesn't have the money, he's hiding under that shell. Mm -hmm. You get So don't stop loving. Don't stop loving people or trusting people. There are still good people out there. There are still very reasonable and responsible like me. men out there. They are, only, they are just looking for a woman that will respect them yeah. be loyal to them mm. even there are still men that have the money and still have the love to give that's true that's true that's true you understand that's so true. and don't make your uh, relationship at this point your utmost priority mm. 
like you focus your life on it i need somebody to love me or they are not giving me love in fact i will go for money yeah. this and that. what if you now enter into a ritualist hand somebody will say hey what are people who call they are not ritual. what if you are one of yeah, those good. few people yeah. that will not be disadvantaged and that because of that kind of decision so in all that getting get wisdom get wisdom <laughs> so you've heard from the mouth of miss grace love with knowledge and don't marry for for what for, for money. money yes don't don't check don't look at the money the man has look at what he's doing what he's doing yes look at his mentality his because it's a long his intentions because yes. it's a long journey yes very yeah. long journey, long journey. Yeah. thank you viewers for watching until next week again stay tuned <laughs>